So I just watched uh, Miss Mar the Miss Marvel finale, and uh, yeah, I thought it was really good. I really did enjoy the Miss Marvel finale. I thought it was probably the best episode yet um, out of the six episodes, obviously. Uh, there is a lot to talk about in this episode, um, mainly the post credit scene, which I'm going to go talk about the most, and I'll do, obviously, at the end of the video, I'll do my thoughts on the show overall. Uh, so if you do enjoy the video, please like and subscribe, uh, tell me, me down below what you thought of the Miss Marvel finale and the show overall. Uh, I hope you guys have a good day, and uh, let's get into the video. So, yeah, Miss Marvel finale was very good. Uh, people, obviously, have mixed reactions on this show overall. Uh, not many people probably did watch it. Um, I'm sure many people did as well, a lot of Marvel fans did watch this, I obviously did watch this, I watch every Marvel show and stuff, but um, yeah, I did think Miss Marvel for Naya was really good, you know, her getting her suit, which was really cool to see, you know, I really love that suit, which we're obviously going to see again in um, in the Marvels, uh, Captain Marvel 2, but I'll talk about that in a bit, which links to the post credit scene. Um, and yeah, I thought the fight scenes could have been a little bit better in this finale, you know, it, it, they had to go to the school to get Cameron, uh, obviously because he had the powers of his mother, well, the, his mother gave to him, like, she put it through him in uh, episode 5, which you saw at the end, and uh, obviously damage control are, are obviously after him, and obviously Agent clearly, he doesn't want this, he doesn't want to go after them, because obviously they're at a high school, and if they shoot, if they kind of break the high school, like shoot it down or whatever, like raid it and then they try getting a bunch of kids because uh, obviously they're that's what they were after then it would put a bad name on damage control which it has it has put a bad name on damage c control which we're probably going to see in maybe the she-hulk show and other shows because obviously we know damage control are going to show up in the she-hulk show um so that's going to be very cool to see how they got affected by this um i do think they are scrolled still like i said in the video before about agent p clearly with the young avengers and stuff um because i don't know i just find something fishy about them but I do like clearly I do think he's cool I just don't like his assistant uh, I obviously he called it off but she still continued and it does put a bad name on him like I said but uh, yeah I thought the fight scenes in this could have been a tiny bit better obviously the, there wasn't really a big fight scene between Cameron and Miss Marvel which I thought there was going to, going to be right at the end before obviously he saved she let uh, him go uh, to where Red Dagger is um, I thought they were going to have a maybe a little bit of a fight scene but they kind of didn't they kind of just tussled out uh, sort of throughout the sh as the show went on they kind of just did this and that there like with their powers they didn't really have a full on fight which was kind of disappointing I was kind of wishing that could happen uh, obviously it was kind of funny though to see and it was it was a fun scene when they were at the high school and they were throwing softballs at the um, at the soldiers of uh, damage control that was really cool to see I really did enjoy that part um, obviously there wasn't like I said there wasn't a big fight scene with damage control obviously the probably most brutal thing in this episode was what, what, ha what happened to the kids was when Bruno got hit in the face by the gun where, by damage control. That was probably the most brutal thing that happened to Bruno and the rest of uh, uh, Kamala's friends. There wasn't really much to happen. Obviously, they got arrested. And obviously, at the end, we obviously see um, uh, Cameron obviously let go. He obviously goes off um, with uh, Red Dagger, which we see at the end. Uh, and yeah, I really, th I really did enjoy this. Um, I thought that, like I said, there could have been stuff they did better. Uh, it's it's nice to see Miss Marvel is has been accepted by her family as a superhero and saving people, which is obviously really good to see. Obviously, if we're going to see her in uh, the Cap in Marvels, uh, Captain Marvel two, and uh, yeah, obviously at the end she does get her name, which she was fangirling over because obviously she has to, she's going to have the same name as Carol Danvers, her idol. Um, obviously. Um, Marvel means wonderful or a wonder or whatever which you know that's why which Abu gave her the name Miss Marvel and that's where it came from which is obviously ties into the show nicely and it obviously makes a lot of sense um, and yeah I, I did really enjoy the finale overall I like I said there were things that could have been done better but overall I think most of the finale did was really well done and um, yeah like I said it's probably the best episode episode 6 or episode 5 or probably the best episodes maybe episode 4 I'm not too sure they were all re the, the whole show was just I really did enjoy the whole show um, obviously not many people expected a lot from it before it started I've, obviously I was waiting to see wasn't going to judge it before I don't judge any Marvel show before it comes out and yeah I did really enjoy Miss Marvel um, uh, I think that her powers at the end uh, Obviously, when Bruno told her that there is different mutations in her, which 
was absolutely an ama amazing scene because the X Men song came on, uh, the X Men tune came on for a slight second. The ninety seven uh, music came on for a slight second, and it did obviously hint at the mutants because obviously in the comics uh, Kamala doesn't have the cosmic abilities. She has it from you know being an inhuman, and she has it from obviously being a mutant. So this did hint at the fact of the mutants are coming very soon because obviously her mutations obviously they talk about mutations and hers are different which bruno said to her at the end which when they did their research so this is a massive hint towards the x-men and you know inhumans and stuff like that because they are definitely coming very soon we obviously know that but this in miss marvel was a great hint because obviously it also links kind of back to the comics because in the comics like i said she is uh, an inhuman she is different mutations which i think this does link to that as well i think it does it is showing that she is also an inhuman like her mu her dna is very different to her family's like they like bruno said and her her mutation and her dna is very strange and it's never been seen before uh so i think this is definitely the, the start of the x-men and you know inhumans um I do think this is the beginning of that. Obviously, I think the thing that gives it away the most is the 97 X-Men tune that played for a slight second. I think that's the biggest hint of um, the mutants and stuff coming, which is very cool to see. It's amazing to hear. You know, we knew it was coming, but a big hint in, a, in Miss Marvel uh, is, is very cool, and I cannot wait to see the mutants in the MCU, and I can't wait to see where it goes in the Kamala story, because obviously we, maybe we'll see that in Captain Marvel 2, maybe Young Avengers, I'm not too sure, but her mutations, like I just said, they're very different, and they probably do link to the X-Men and in Inhumans, so maybe we'll see her in a, maybe an Inhumans project, or X-Men, maybe. We'll have to wait and see, though. Uh, now that I've got the um, finale over, uh, done, um, I want to talk, well, the the, mo the main show of the finale, I want to talk about the post credit scene now. The post credit scene was absolutely incredible. I did not expect that they would hint uh, to Captain Marvel 2 at all. I didn't think they would do it in the post credit scene. Maybe I would kind of expect something from the post credit scene, maybe some of the Young Avengers or like Damage Control or something like that, but I did not expect to see Carol Danvers show up in um, in the end, in the post credit scene, obviously. Um, Kamala's bangle starts like, freaking out or whatever it starts changing colors and stuff and then she gets blasted into the wardrobe into her wardrobe and then she comes out and carol danvers is there so you know it's a, it's so cool i really did enjoy that post credit scene it was amazing to see uh i, I was i don't know where kamala went though you know C carol kind of came out and she saw that she was definitely in a room that so she's in her eye well someone that looks up to her because she looked around and she then realized that she was on earth because obviously there was loads of captain marvel pictures around the um around the room so yeah i thought that post credit scene was really cool uh i didn't didn't expect it at all i did not expect to see carol danvers show up uh i cannot wait to see her in captain marvel 2 and i cannot wait to see miss marvel in captain marvel 2 because i am kind of confused on what happened in that post credit scene um i wonder if maybe miss mar uh, kamala went to where carol was or maybe they like switched like obviously we, they were saying about her mutations and stuff i don't think that kind of links to Ca carol danvers though but yeah like i said that was a very cool post credit scene it obviously links to captain marvel 2 heavily um and we're obviously we're obviously going to see the uh, outcome of what happened uh, in that post credit scene probably at the start of captain marvel 2 because i'm guessing captain marvel is going to be in their house probably I th i'm guessing that's what's going to happen uh, I'm guessing then Captain Marvel's going to seek answers, she's going to kind of look around and then maybe Kamala comes back or maybe she has to save Kamala, I'm not too sure. But this post credit scene obviously uh, sets up Captain Marvel 2 perfectly and I cannot wait next year for the uh, Captain Marvel 2. So yeah, overall, um, Captain Marvel, uh, no, sorry, Miss Marvel show, I'll give it probably an 8 or 9 out of 10, I really did enjoy the show more than I th thought I would, I, did it, I did enjoy it. Like I said earlier, there is some parts of the show that probably could have been done a little bit better. Um, like the, maybe the, some fight scenes and stuff like that but overall I really did enjoy the show and I really do recommend it if you haven't watched it I, I do I did really enjoy it so yeah if you did enjoy the video today please like and, like and subscribe uh, if you have watched the Miss Marvel sh uh, finale and the show overall tell me down below what you thought of it uh, I hope you have a good day and I'll see you in the next one